Alright, so I'm back again for another game mix tutorial. As I said, I would make a, um, another tutorial today uh, on sprinting. And I'm going to try and make this as simple as possible, yet make it look advanced. I guess that's what the, the whole channel is about. So, uh, in here, we will do. We'll add another sprint or er, variable, and we'll just call it sprinting. Actually, no, we don't need to. Uh, because we will we'll just run it off this. So let's let's make our let's make a variable called speed. Uh, Game Maker has a set variable called speed, but we're gonna do it with a capital S because all of my variables start with a capital letter. And we'll just do uh, what's our speed for now? Okay, so we're moving at a speed of 2. So we'll do speed equals 2. And in here, we will change all the two variables to speed. Alright, now that you have all the these uh, to speed, now we have to uh, change these the x comma y plus 2 we need to change all of these to speed uh, same thing with the y so it's, or x so y minus speed alright so now that we have our speed variable set on everything that we need it to be set on now we can do another check right here so uh, we can just put, actually Let's put it before the add animation. So slash slash sprinting. If <coughs> keyboard underscore check, uh, then we'll do VK underscore shift. speed equals, let's say 4, sorry about my insane loud typing, let me try and move my mouse, I've kind of noticed that in my videos, uh, alright, so, then, else, speed equals 2, so, if the, the, the player is holding shift, then speed will equal 4 and when we're moving right the uh, we'll move at 4 pixels per frame instead of 2 and we'll check 4 pixels in front of us so if we if we just left these variables as 2 then we would run into some issues where we would uh, like basically get stuck on walls and that's not really useful at all so if our players is holding shift and speed equals four. If we're not holding shift, then we'll check. And if we're not holding shift, then uh, speed will be set back to to two. And I'm gonna go ahead and create another object. You can do this however you want. Uh, let's do obj underscore. player underscore motion motion player and let's do a create event let's drag that in and we'll do image underscore alpha will equal 0 0.5 so the way GameMaker does its alpha stage uh, is, is a little bit different from uh, like image editing software. So GIMP and like Photoshop, they do it from a range of zero to a hundred. Uh, GameMaker does it from a range of zero to one. So this is about fifty percent. All right, sorry about that. Let's do a variable called 
global dot sub image. No. Sub image equals zero. And in the step event, we'll just do we'll just do it in sacking. We'll do it down here. Image no global sorry about that. Global dot sub image equals image underscore index. And now we can finally get into the sprinting thing. So image index equals global <coughs> dot sub image. And And now we do with well, let's do back into our player event. Another one. Global dot uh, let's actually change this one back to global. Global or let's change this into a global global dot dire uh, direction and we can just copy this global thing and put it everywhere and that should be all of them Hope, except for here. All right, yeah, that was all of them. Okay, so now in our create event, we'll do global dot. If yeah, if global dot direction equals down then sprite underscore index will equal SPR underscore walk up or oh, no, down sorry and we can just copy this about well, three of the times change this to up left all right so now basically what we're doing is if our player is sprinting, then uh, once this little object is created, it will check if what direction the player is facing, and it will set the sprite image and the index right here. Uh, I hope that made sense. So now if we go back to our player event, and we just actually back into our uh, motion blur at event, other animation end control code instance underscore destroy <coughs> excuse me and that that just helps clean up the uh, the room once we're done actually image underscore alpha minus equals point zero zero one zero and we'll remove this this is this is just so it fades away if <coughs> image underscore alpha equals zero is 
less than or equal to zero. Instance underscore destroy this. Uh, if you're wondering why I put less than or equal to, uh, that's just in case this decides to go over or less than zero. I know it probably won't, but it's just to be safe. Uh, so that, that just lets it fade away into the nothingness, the nothingness of the void. Uh, motion. So in our sprinting, we'll do instance instance underscore create Instance underscore create x comma y comma obj underscore and of course obj underscore player motion blur and now let's just see if this works. Hopefully it does. Alright, that's pretty cool. It's it's a little too much. It's pretty cool though. If you hold shift and you start to walk, it, it leaves like a clean animation. Um, I don't I don't think they're being destroyed quick enough. Player motion blur. Step. We'll just do minus one. And see how that, or point one. Let's just see how that works. And it's a little too fast. How about we do zero point five or zero point zero five? That's minus half of one, so or point one, I guess. Yeah, that works. And it should get, yeah, it gets rid of the, um, that thing if we were to stand stone and move, uh, leaving that clean image behind. Uh, it, it does work. We can do it uh, in between, in between other things. Let's see our gold thing is still working and glitchy as always. <laughs> yeah, so thank you guys for watching. That should be the uh, the final episode of the sprinting. I'm not really sure what we're gonna get into next time. Maybe either special attacks or uh, finally, for once, mob systems. But either way, we'll see. If you have any ideas, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. And thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.